What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So my last video, I finally got all the new gauges installed onto a custom gauge panel in the D100. So I figured now is a good time to go ahead and start doing the rehab on the dash cover and the glove box. Let's get to it. So I think I'm gonna to start today with the glove box. So I've already done some work to the dash cover, um, but there's more that needs to be done. It didn't quite turn out the way I really wanted it to, so I gotta sand it down and then do some filling on it. So for now, I need to get the glove box to the same point that the dash cover's at. So I'm gonna be starting with the, da with the uh, glove box. So when it comes to the glove box, you can see it's got a pretty good crack all the way across the top. The foam is kind of starting to separate, comes all the way down into there. There's also a lot of smaller cracks where the vinyl is just dried out and cracking. So I'm gonna start by trying to remove as much of this dried out cracking vinyl as I can, and then uh, we'll go on to the next step. All right, now that I got a lot of the easily removable, dried out, cracked vinyl removed, um, now I wasn't pressing all that hard on it, I was just kind of seeing where it was gonna break and what pieces would, would flake off relatively easily. Uh, but with that done, what I'm gonna do now is take my Dremel with this kind of cone-shaped bit there, or a sanding drum, and I'm gonna widen out some of the bigger cracks. So like this one across the top here, I gotta cut into that, create a valley for the uh, filler to really adhere to. And on those bit larger cracks, when the vinyl cracks and the foam separates, it kinda, kinda puckers. So I need to get all that down and level before I can start with any kind of filler. So what I'm gonna do now is just work on getting a lot of these cracks cleaned out and give a good base for the filler. That's a, that's not fun. Um, definitely gotta invest in a good mask, which I'm sure most of us have now. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna continue with that, do some more sanding out of, those, of some more of those cracks, try to get it as cleaned up as I can, and then uh, move on to the next step. Now that I got most of the major damage taken care of, I got most of the most of the cracking vinyl removed. I cleaned out and widened up some of the areas. Uh, I need to go back now with a, I'm gonna use a plastic repair kit. And I'm gonna fill in some of these wider areas and some of these deeper gouges. And what that's gonna do is just build that up so that when I put the filler coat on, it won't have to be so thick and it'll give it something to really adhere to. So what I'm gonna be using is one of these plastic repair kits. Uh, it just comes with basically a large soldering iron basically and these plastic strips and what this is going to do is i'm just going to take these and melt these in to a lot of these larger areas and these deeper gouges like i said that's just going to fill in some of these really large cracks so that the filler won't have to be so thick <laughs>
right, so it's been a day or so, um, just been working on other projects. But now what I wanna do is take the sander and knock down any of this filler that got above the surface or on the surface. I'm just gonna smooth it out. Um, I'm not concerned about any of the low spots, about smoothing any of that out. Um, I just, I think that any of the low spots, any texture in there, any rough spots will help the next step adhere better. So, sander, smooth. Now that I got all the sanding done and everything's been wiped down with mineral spirits just to get all the dust and everything off of the surface, I'm going to go ahead and use some of this Polyvance padded dash filler. Uh, it's a two-part filler, basically like Bondo, that's meant for repairs like this. Uh, before I mix that up though, I'm gonna use some of this uh, filler prep and I'm gonna brush this on, on all the areas that, that are gonna be getting filler. Let's get started with that. After a few rounds of the padded body filler and sanding and more filler, more sanding, I ran out of patience. I realized that I do not have the personality, the patience, to deal with filler. Uh, you guys out there that do body work, more power to you because I, I couldn't do it. Um, so. Ran out of patience on that, decided to move on to the next step. So I cleaned everything up, wiped, you know, blew all the dust off, wiped everything down with mineral spirits, got everything really clean. Then I gave everything a coat of this Polyvance uh, Plastic Magic, it's just an adhesion promoter, just to help the SEM texture coating adhere better to the glove box door and the instrument cover the dash basically or the instrument enclosure so let me get you out to the truck and uh, we'll see how it looks so once everything dried i decided to go ahead and get everything installed back into the truck and there you can see the gauge cover 
in the glove box. A uh, little glare on the windshield, sorry about that. But here you can see how they turned out. Now, like I said, it's not the best view. Um, did it all turn out perfect? No. I mean, there's still, you can see some of the, some of the working. You can see some, there's still some low spots over there. And there's still spots that could have used more work. Like I said, I just, I ran out of patience. Um, but overall, my goal for this really was just to get it to the point where there were no more holes in the dash or the glove box. All the cracks were gone. Uh, it looks... 100% better and I actually I kind of like the un, I don't want to say unfinished look but the the uh, not perfect look to it I mean nothing on this truck is really clean let me go on to the other side and see if I can give you guys a better better look at that maybe not looking into the sun so much there we go yeah so I mean you can see I, I tried to regain this groove that goes all the way up and around like to the dash there but the vinyl was just too damaged and the foam underneath I, I had to really fill it in and I couldn't I was afraid that if I took the Dremel to it and really tried to recreate that that it would just continue to do damage and that was part of part of my frustration but overall like I said it looks a thousand times better than it did before um, like I said perfect no not by any means but I am really happy with the way this turned out. Now, like I said, if I had more patience, I could probably get it looking a whole lot better, but I'm happy with it. it. Like I said, there's no more holes. The vinyl's not cracking. All the damage is pretty much fixed. So in the end, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. That, that uh, padded dash filler is definitely the way to go. Uh, if you try to use regular Bondo, that's not flexible. And with the way the dash sits in the sun, it's constantly, you know, heating up, cooling off, heating up, cooling off. You need something that's got a little bit of elasticity or a little bit of flexibility to it. And that's where the padded dash filler comes in. Bondo, I think it would just, it would just crack. There's no, once that stuff dries, it's pretty rigid. There's no flexibility to it. So for a repair like this, I highly recommend getting that padded dash filler. Um, but yeah, so there you go. I mean, it took probably a couple of days, honestly, of working on it in the evenings and stuff like that after work and so, and letting stuff dry and, and things like that. But it's not really that difficult. Like I said, that's the lack of patience on my part is the biggest part, biggest thing. But that's really it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>